Greetings, greetings, blessings, blessings, blessings. Amen, amen. God bless you all. Um, what inspired this video? Earlier, I was talking to somebody on the on the, on the phone, and we were discussing um, something that happened recently. Um, you know, she was. Uh, she was packing away some some things. Um, she just came from uh, from Walmart. And she was packing some things away, and she lives in a building where other people live there as well. So, she, so she was saying a lot of things with 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 the person, and I was there as well. Um, and she was saying things about the people that live in that building, and she was getting very personal and saying some very you know sensitive things and she was very loud she was very loud so one of the guys came out and was like don't don't say you know just keep my mother's name out your mouth can you just please be quiet or lower your voice you're very very loud and we recently lost uh two loved ones and we, we really you know you you talking this stuff is really um bothering us um and we're hurting can you please lower your voice so but this professed Christian, instead of saying, okay, I understand, I'm sorry, or, I, love, I love my voice, I understand. He said, oh, no, no, you're just upset what I said. Your, your conscience is bothering you when you said, he just said, no, you know, please, be, please lower your voice, please lower your voice. Um, I'm not, my conscience not bothering me. I just please, I just need you to please lower your voice. He said, no, no, I'm going to talk how I want to talk. And so he came a little bit closer to her. Not not right in her face, but a little bit f closer to her, so she could. So I guess you can actually see her, because initially you couldn't really they couldn't really see each other. They couldn't hear each other, so you went to a certain. If I could pick, you know, explain it properly, he went to a certain direction, so you could actually see her, and see her see her face to face, because it's like kind of like a balcony area, kind of blocking it, you know. So you saw her, and and they couldn't they continued to go at it. Um, uh, that after that he, he walked away she came downstairs and went in his face but he walked away and went into his apartment so she went to the to the, the borderline of the apartment and and he closed the door and she took it upon herself to force the door open so after that you know, he pushed her away with a lot of force. So I guess after that, her she claimed that she was she was in a lot of pain, and she said she was gonna call the cops. So you know, long story short, it was a going court. Um, it was a go to court. And I'm telling her, it was wrong for him to push you. It was wrong for him to, I guess in his mind, he felt like you're in my property. You're, you, you, why you open the door with so much force like that? Why you, why you open my space like that? And I said, even though I wish you would have not have put her, her push you away and you know, cause you harm, you know, and, and thank, thank God he didn't do worse because a lot of people would have, could have did worse to her. You, as the professed Christian, should have just okay, I'll lower my voice. You didn't have to keep on like trying to bring a child challenge him even more. And you provoked him to wrath. I'm not condoning what he did, but you provoked him to wrath. So I'm trying to tell her this, tell her this, tell her this. And you know, she's saying I should have recorded it. And I say, I, I apologize, I didn't record it. Maybe I should have recorded it. But I saw my own eyes. You made it worse. And no matter how much I'm talking to her, she's not. It's not registering. She's not. It's like she's not receiving it. And I'm, try, I'm telling her the truth and love, and she's just not receiving it. And, you know, I was talking to her earlier about it, and she was hung up the phone, so, so whatever. Um, and a lot of people, they don't, they don't, they hate when you tell them done the truth. And this is a world where if you say certain things on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, they're gonna silence you. They're gonna censor you. And it's like, if you, why are we not emotionally mature enough to handle disagreement? Like if I say something about you that or uh, that you don't like, like why you have to get violent and loud? It's like if I, t if I tell you, you know, you know, 
um, you, you, you don't cook that well, you know, but I, I want to offer you some recipes so that I can come out better. And maybe after that, you, you know, okay, all right, and that's all good, but I'm, I'm glad you offered me a remedy to help my cooking be better. I, I, I'll offer you, I know I cook well, and I'll help you out with some cooking, because you know, you know, it didn't come out that good. A lot of people wouldn't say that, that that food that you cooked, and it, it was missing something. It was too salty, right? Well, I, I don't like the way you talked to your child the other day, you know. Um, we'll, we'll, I see how you talk to your children every day before they go to school. What if, God forbid, they don't come back home? And you're going to be very miserable with yourself knowing that that was the last thing you said to your child. You know, because a lot of people, you see how, we see how parents talk to the kids nowadays. And the parents want to say something, but the, the, the part want to say, I don't want to intrude. I don't want to be on the, the parents' bad side. So that's not really my problem. But the Bible says, I am my brother's keeper. So we have to be very discreet and careful of, you know, when it comes to people and their kids and you know you know i guess if you know the person well build a, a relationship you tend to have a little more leeway with what they say um of what when you try to correct them i mean um you know so when, when people are very emotionally immature it's hard for them to accept that correction when they're very their emotional fortitude has not been built up enough to handle opposition or if they're overly sensitive. They say something that hurts, and they're tempted to get loud and, 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 and aggressive and, and violent. And uh, you know, yeah, we all get hurt. We all get our feelings hurt. I get my feelings hurt, but it's how we respond. Um, you know, I, I I love you know people, but I don't always agree with them. Um, the, 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 you know, the idea that there's more than two genders, I don't agree with. It, it's, it, it's not there's not more than two genders. The people that promote that idea, I love them, but I don't agree with them. The people that believe in, you know, it, abortions, and I, I know abortion is a very sensitive topic, and things happen or whatever. But I don't believe I just believe it's t child murders that's not ever, you know, adequate. And I, and that's what, and I do tell these people that there are things that we can do to help lower that the chance of that happening. One reason, you know, not fornicating. You know, not, not, not having sex with your spouse and other things. Not having sex with your boyfriend or girlfriend, I mean. Um, you know, homosexuality. I love I love homosexuals. I love, I love them. I don't agree with, with their lifestyle. But I know things happen. I know they've been exposed to things. Things, things have happened that make them change. And I've met former, I know former, former homosexuals. So, and, and, and it's, it's possible to change if they want to change. Um, you know, I've had things in my life that it was hard to let go of. Very hard, you know. Sins are hard to let go, and I, and, I, and I got free by the power of God. Certain ways of thinking and traits of character, and God gave me victory. So, this is a world where we can't handle the truth. And if we're so evolved, as especially the atheists say that, if we're so evolved, why can't we handle disagreeing ideas? I, I want to share a couple of verses, which, which illustrate my point. First Kings 22, verse 1 to 18. And they continued three years without war between Syria and Israel. And it came to pass in the third year that Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, came down unto the king of Israel. And the king of Israel said unto his servants, Know ye that Ramoth and Gilead is ours. So he said, Oh, yeah, we got this territory, it's ours. And we be still, and take it not out of the land of the king of Syria. And he said unto Jehoshaphat, So now the king of Israel talking to, to Jehoshaphat. Will you come with me to the battle to Rim of Gilead? And Jehovah said, said to the king of Israel, I am as thou art, my people as thy people, my horse as thy horse. So yeah, we, we're gonna we're gonna get gather our people together. We we're gonna do this thing together, you know, in a collective unit. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna join forces and win. And Jehovah said, said to the king of Israel, Inquire, I pray thee at the word of the Lord today. Um so he said, make sure you you know um, invite God into this. So the king of Israel gathered prophets together about 400 men and said unto them, Shall I go against Ramoth Gilead to battle or shall I forbear? So he gathered these so-called prophets to inquire of the Lord and said, what, what did God tell you? And they said, Oh, go up. Go go conquer the territory. For the Lord shall deliver to the hand of the king. And Jehovah just said, Is there not a prophet of the Lord besides that we may, might inquire of him? So he said, Oh, well, you know, I want, a, I want a God of Yahweh of Israel. And you guys are... And you got other guys, you know, God of Balak, and I mean, I mean, Balaam, and I mean, yeah, 
not Balaam, um, Baal and Molech and, and Asherah and I want a God of Israel. You know, I want, I want, you know, that's the God I believe in personally. Can we get, can we get, I guess can we get some more diversity here, you know? Um, you know, it seemed like Jehoshaphat was trying to bring some agreement, um, trying to work with him and say, well, I don't really believe what you believe. I, mean, I don't really believe um, their gods that they, you know, that they um, worship to, worship to and talk to and, and obey, but I personally have a belief that I want to bring bring it to the, to the equation. Um, my God isn't their God, but can I can I can I ask? What about prophet that to subscribe to my God? Um, what about prophet a prophet that will talk in the behalf of my God? And the king of Israel said to Joshua, "In fact, there's yet one man, Micaiah, the son of, of Emia, by whom we may inquire of the Lord, the Lord of Israel, right? But I hate him." What, what he said the king of Israel said I know somebody that is of your God but I hate him for he doth not prophesy good concerning me but evil so notice that the king of Israel said he hates him because he doesn't prophesy good but evil in other words he tells me what I don't want to hear come on he tells me what I don't want to hear and Joshua said let not the king say so I don't say that you know there must be a reason why he's saying those things I don't think he means you bad then the king of Israel called an officer and said hasten hither Micaiah the son of Imlah and the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat the king of Judah sat each on his throne having put on their robes and a void place in the entrance of the gate of Samaria and all the prophets prophesied before them and Zedekiah son of Chena committed him horns of iron and he said thus save the Lord with these shalt thou put the Syrians until thou have consumed them now, and all the prophets prophesy saying, all the so-called prophets saying, uh, you know, that's um, Jehoshaphat's people, go up. How much was up? It was 400 next to that, next to, compared to one Micaiah. Go up. You prosper. You got this, bro. You got this, dude. For the Lord shall deliver it. You got this. And the message that was going to call Micaiah, speaking to him, saying, behold now, the words of the prophets declare good. So, so the messenger went to Micaiah and said, listen, these people are saying Joshua is going to prosper. You know? Uh, this, he would declare good unto the king. Yeah, the prophet, where's the prophet declared good unto the king with one mouth? So they were, they were in one accord, one agreement, they were unison. Let thy word, I pray thee, be like the word of one of them and speak that which is good. So he was saying to compromise, to go with the crowd, to agree what they're saying you know you may have your own minds you may have your own opinion you may have your own perspective but do what they are say what go with the flow don't don't mess things up don't make things uncomfortable oh is that, is that how it has it how it is today yeah exactly people want to go with the crowd with with, with the mob mentality is rather than what is true and then makaya says the lord live what the lord say unto me that i'm gonna speak i'm, I'm gonna say what the lord said not what you saying to me so he came to the king, and the king said to him, Micaiah, shall we go against Ramoth Gilead, or shall we forbear? And he said, I think, I think sarcastically, he said, Go and prosper. The Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. And the king said to him, How many times shall I adjure thee that thou tell me nothing but that which is true in the name of the Lord? So he knew that he wasn't being totally honest. Right? Right? Well, what do you want? He said he's going to prosper, but he could tell that he wasn't being fully truthful. Like, what do you want? <laughs> all right let me tell you what's gonna happen he said i saw all israel scattered upon the hills as sheep that have not a shepherd and the lord said these have no master let them return every man to his house and peace so he said i saw israel scattered the shepherd wasn't there the king the, the, the leader wasn't there mm -hmm. they were scattered they weren't in order obviously they were they, had, they, had, they were facing they were facing uh losses and they, they were they, and things were not looking good for them and he said, that's what's going to happen. And the king of Israel said unto Joshua, Did I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me but evil? So he took his words of truth as, as hate, and he, he didn't respond to it in a healthy way. That's how it, was, it is today with the world. Another couple of verses, Ezekiel 30, verse, a um, couple of verses, starting from verse 1, I guess I'm going to, to verse 9. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, 
God. Son of man prophesies he, thus saith the Lord God. So God's saying, Ezekiel, I'm going to speak through you. Speak, speak true, don't lie. Don't cover things up. Don't dilute the message because to, to get the people's affirmation and, 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 and uh, applause and, and, um, and endorsements. Come on, a lot of people are, are getting, are trying to please the people because they want more accolades, they want more endorsements, they want, they want, they want deals. Right? That's, 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 some people say, you know, selling the soul to the devil, right? Son of man, prophesy, say, thus say the Lord God, how he woe worth the day, for the day is near, even the day of the Lord is near. A cloudy day, it shall be the time of the heathen, and the sword shall come upon Egypt. It's bad news. Great pain shall be in Ethiopia, when the slain shall fall in Egypt, and they shall take away her multitude, and her foundation shall be broken down. Ethiopia, Libya, Lydia, all the Mega people, and Shub, and the men of the land that is in league, shall fall with them by the sword. Thus saith the Lord, they also that uphold Egypt shall fall, and the pride of her power shall come down. From the tower of Sinai shall they fall in it by the sword, saith the Lord God. And they shall be desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate, and their cities shall be in the midst of the cities that are wasted. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I have set a fire in Egypt, and when all the helpers shall be destroyed. In the days shall messengers go forth from me in ships to make the careless Ethiopians afraid, and great pain shall come upon them. As in the day of Egypt for low it comes. So he was saying, bad things are gonna come. God didn't sugarcoat it. God some people think, you know, God is all about goodness and you know, goodness and mercy. And no, at the time of God also talks about justice and bringing wrath and you know, we don't we don't we don't counsel scripture. Come on. So I tell people what they gotta hear. Even Jesus, my, my, my final points here. Even Jesus, in Matthew 21, verse 13, and he said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but yet made it a den of thieves. So he said, You guys are doing the wrong here. You guys are doing the wrong. You're messing things up. So sometimes you got to put people in their place. You got to say, You know, I think you could have did that job better. You know, you could have did that work properly. You could have spoke, spoke to that person better. You could have did this differently, you know. And sometimes we don't want to, it's hard to tell people the truth about what they're doing, how they're living. Um, we, we, say we can't we can't stand it. We, we can't stand the truth. But Jesus, even Jesus said, "You made a den of thieves. You you did wrong." So basically, Jesus saying is is telling us that don't don't be afraid to tell people when they're wrong. He told people, you know, you know, you're the, you know. Um, you're like a den of vipers. You're you're like whitewashed tombs. You're hypocrites. You're of your father, the devil. And a lot of people, unless you're atheist, because you know, they don't believe in that the devil exists, or unless you're a satanist, because they love the devil. But people who believe in God, or people who are very committed, they believe that, or they'll get upset if you tell them that you 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 are the devil. You got the devil in you. A lot of people will get really get hurt by that, offended by that. But Jesus told the people, you are of your father, the devil. You claim to be religious, you claim to believe in God and be about God's business, but you are the father of the devil. Your, your, your works show, your works prove it. And there are a lot of professed Christians that if you tell them that, you tell them that you're, 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 not, you're not reflecting God right now, you're reflecting another entity right now, the dark force, a lot, a lot of professed Christians are not going to accept that. They're not going to, they're not going to question, why do you say that? Or explain to me more they're going to all make it say no no you're the devil you're the devil oh, oh get out of here you know some of them might, might even curse you you know but they're not gonna, they're not really going to listen to you or receive it um but jesus was not afraid to tell people the truth the truth and that will set you free so if you don't like the truth no matter how hard it, it, it is to hear you you know or, 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 how, how hard it is to hear it how are you going to be free you're going to stay enslaved you're going to stay in bondage I tell people the truth. I tell the drunkard the truth, the, the the pedophile the truth, the the gangster the truth. I tell people the truth. The LGBTQ the truth. I tell them the truth. Atheist the truth. Muslim the truth. They may not agree with me. It, it, you know, we don't we don't agree with each other on certain things. But you're not going to be in a score and always agree with everybody at every single point. But you know, just letting people let that's not. Like just keeping the truth silent, that's not being real. Acting like you agree with somebody when you really don't, that's not being real. That's being phony, that's being false. You're not being authentic. You, you agree with them, but you act like you do when you really don't. That, that's, that's falsehood. And God's not about that. 
and God is what any of us feel about that. So we got to do better at being truthful and say, Lord, you know, help me. You know, I can do better. We all, we all can do better in how we come across and telling people the truth, our tone of voice, um, our motives, um, what we say, how we say it. Um, let's pray. Father in heaven, we lo know, Lord, that we need to do better in telling people the truth. There are forces out there, Lord, who don't want to hear the truth and they're going to silence us, Lord, but we got to still be firm, still be diligent, still be faithful and not, not cave in, not compromise. And help us, Lord, that we'll be wise, discerning, and do it um, in a discreet way, a wise way, at the right time. Not, not every time is the right time, Lord, so we need to do it at the right time and in the right way. So we need you, Lord, to give us a boldness to say what needs to be said, whether to our parents, uh, about something that's very sensitive, you know, maybe finances, or someone, or, you know, kids, siblings, um, housing situations, um, our bosses, or whatever, you know, paycheck benefits, um, co-workers, our neighbors. We need to be able to talk to people or talk to each other um, and accept correction and, and humility. Because pride is what keeps us from receiving the truth, and pride does go before a fall. And that's, that's, that's one of the reasons why people have so much conflict and so much divorces and violence, because people just cannot um, respectfully and humbly receive the truth and love. So, Father, we thank you for your power. We thank you, Lord, for your power to change. Help us that we can do better. We can, ex we can give correction, and we can also receive correction. Amen. Because I, I also need correction, Lord. I also need, need to do better, Lord. Um, so help me, Lord, to do better. Help us, Lord, all those who are listening to this video to do better. We, we thank you, Lord. And we love you. Have your way. Oh, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Uh, God's to go. God's to go. Things to do. Grace and peace be upon you and your families. I don't know if this, maybe this video is kind of taking part of my laptop. I don't know. I guess I was still showing for the most part. Anyway, God bless you all. Have a blessed peace tonight. Amen.